What is up dudes, it's Oscar from Master Kirby. Welcome to another video. Today I'm doing something different. Breath of the Wild game review. Let's get straight into it. What is Breath of the Wild? Well, it's an open world Zelda action adventure Nintendo game thing released in 2017. whoop de freaking do 2017. There's a bunch of new improved combat mechanics like shield surfing, the Z targets back, they also put in stamina again, yay. The material collection in the game is, I'm sure, one of the things you've seen, even if you haven't played the game. But it's kind of sim- it's reminiscent to that of Skyward Sword, and also, you don't need a bug net or a fishing hook to catch fish or bugs. Let's be real here, those were kind of annoying mechanics. Now, if you're swimming in a river, you can just run- you can just swim up and grab a fish. It's that simple. You also don't need a flipper item to swim. Cough, cough, minish, calf, cough, cough, link between worlds, cough, cough, every other top-down Zelda game. Oh, God. Um, okay, anyways, uh, what's the plot of this game? I'm just gonna sum it down. Basically, there are four robots. You need to capture the robots, get them back, you get power-ups, and then you go stab Ganon to death again. That's basically it. Blood moons! Blood moons are amazing. They are amazing. World bosses, they're amazing. Everything about this game is amazing. It, um, you're not more, you're not very likely to stay attached to a specific area being as the world is so vast and you're probably gonna want to explore more. Got this footage from IGN and Game Explained, so go check them out. It was like 90 minutes Breath of the Wild gameplay. It took me like a, four hours to record this footage. Seriously, go check out their videos. They're awesome. Anyways, um, let's see. Blood moons. What are blood moons? Well, let me explain. Basically, all the materials and enemies in the world respawn apart from the Hylian Shield and Master Sword. And uh, the shrines and other stuff, but that's not important. It's basically weapons, materials, everything else, but the Hylian Shield Master Sword respawn. That's basically it. Also, enemies are twice as strong. And, um, some else. Some else. World bosses! Let me explain. There's stuff such as Hinoxes, freaking Lionels, Cough Cough, Ode to Link Between Worlds, a.k.a. the worst and most infuriating Zelda game ever. Lionels are only present in the failed hero timeline. Go watch Matt Pat's video on it on Game Theory. I'll link to it in the description because I've already referenced it so much for the Zelda timeline. So you know what? Go watch that video if you never have. And another thing is, what are some different world box bosses? Hinoxes. Stalnoxes. Freaking skeletal moblins. Moblins. All of it's cool. All of it. Every single bit of it. There's stuff such as Moldugas, there's freaking bosses that you fight in the Divine Beasts, and yeah, the entire game's super cool. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. There's plenty more stuff where this came from, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace!